What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Bullshot Darts. Have you ever gotten the feeling that you felt like you forgot how to throw your dart? Don't worry, you're not alone. This is something that all players struggle with. So in this one, I'm going to go over what you need to do to remember how to hold your dart. And also this last weekend, I had a darts tournament in St. Louis where I got two first place and a second place with my girlfriend in mixed doubles. So I'm going to do a small little recap of that as well. But first, if you are not subscribed, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. The more bullshot darts you watch, the more 180s you'll hit, and the less you'll forget how to hold your dart. Drop the video a thumbs up and check out bullshotdarts.com where you can pick up some bullshot apparel. The perfect way to show your love and passion for the greatest sport in the world, the sport that we all love. So bullshotdarts.com to go pick up your new favorite dart shirt. So we are just going to go ahead and get started with the how to remember how to throw your dart. So it's kind of a weird thing that all dart players go through. Uh, you know, you pick up your dart, you might be feeling good one day, you pick up your dart the next day and just nothing feels right. And this is something I've been struggling with for about two or three months now. But finally, this last weekend, I refound my grip, I regained my confidence. So I'm going to help you guys get over this issue. The first thing that you're going to want to do, well, it's actually something you're going to stop doing. Stop doing what you're doing because if you keep holding your dart the same way and you have that feeling like you forgot how to hold it, it's not going to get better because if you keep repeating it, you're just going to keep having that feeling that you forgot how to hold your dart and you're not holding it right. So the first thing I want you to do is stop doing what you're doing. Next, I want you to stop aiming because at this point, it doesn't matter what we're hitting on the dartboard. What matters most is getting our grip comfortable again. Once your grip becomes comfortable again, then you can worry about hitting your target because you're going to have that comfortable feeling. If you're trying to hit targets and your grip is off, more than likely you're not going to hit your target that well. And if you're not hitting your target, it's going to keep that confidence down. So the first thing I want you guys to do is to stop doing what you're doing and then stop aiming. All right, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to play with our grip. So next time you go to your darts board, if you're having this issue, don't keep doing the same thing. Keep trying to switch up your grip and find what works. So really, there's three main parts of our grip here. It's going to be where our middle finger is on the dart, where the pointer finger is on the dart, and then where the thumb is on the dart, and pending what you do with these two fingers as well. So play with each part individually each finger individually be like all right where is it going to feel good on my thumb so start there with your thumb every time you pick up your dart try a little new little spot on the thumb until you find something that works from there same thing with the pointer finger whenever i'm having struggles those are the first two fingers i uh, work with because those are the two main fingers that are holding on to the dart so play with those until you start finding something that's a little bit comfortable from there, you're going to want to play with your middle finger a little bit until you get that in a good spot that's comfortable. And I know it might sound weird because generally your ring finger and pinky aren't going to be on the dart. Where those fingers are is still very important. There's some times where I like to throw with my fingers down like this. But as you've seen in some of my videos, there's times where I'll have my pinky out. There's times where I'll have both fingers out. So... It might sound weird because they're not on the dart, but it is important on where you put those fingers. So play with your grip a little bit and find something that's comfortable. Now, remember, we're not aiming. So while you're playing with your grip, don't base your grip based off what you're hitting. It's based off what feels comfortable in your hand. So that's going to be super important uh, moving forward with refinding your grip. So once you're switching up and you find stuff that feels comfortable, now, once you do start aiming, now this is also super important here. This might be the most important part. Once you do start aiming, don't challenge yourself by aiming for those triples because once again, the triples are going to be harder to hit. If you're not hitting it, it can lower your confidence. And since you're working on your grip here, that could just mess up your mental state. So when you do start aiming, aim at big numbers first. So let's say I want to aim at that 20. I've been playing with my grip. I'm like, all right, this feels kind of comfortable. Let's test it out on the single 20. All right, so you're going to go. Hey, look at that. I got it. Well, double 20, no good. All right, so I had two single 20s. All right, the grip, the grip felt good, and I'm aiming. I hit two of what I'm aiming at. Whereas if I was aiming at the triple, maybe I don't get any triples, or maybe I only get one triple. So 
Start with something that you're confident with. I always recommend start with maybe some single numbers. And then from there, I always talk about aiming at the bullseye because the bullseye, now when I say bullseye, I'm talking about the actual bullseye and the 25. That bit is bigger than the triples. And plus, everyone feels good when they hit bullseyes. So once you do start feeling comfortable and aiming, aim at those bullseyes because that's really going to boost your confidence because, I mean, who, who doesn't like hitting a bullseye? <laughs> it's probably going to fall out of there. Oh, two bullseyes. Am I about to get a hat trick here? Oh, no. Third dart was way off. So you hit some bullseyes. That's going to boost your confidence. So quick little recap, guys. First thing, stop doing what you're doing. Second, stop aiming. Third, start playing with that grip. And once again, you're not aiming yet. You're just doing until you, you're just doing, you're just switching until you feel something that's comfortable in your hand. And then from there, when you do start aiming, try aiming at the big numbers and or the bullseye because that's going to help boost your confidence. And then from there, guys, you're going to have a grip that's going to feel comfortable again. And you're going to have that confidence built up moving forward. So that's it, guys. Now let's talk about the starts tournament real quick. Like I said, I've been struggling with my grip for the last couple months. What am I, 180 here? Hey, 180. We got two bullseyes shot, almost a hat trick, and a 180. Um, now I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, a couple months going into this tournament, I have been struggling with my grip. I thought I found my grip at the Father's Day Frenzy where I won that soft tip 501. And then I did feel good for about one or two days, but then the grip went away. And then I actually found a really good grip that I was doing good at home with. But the second I got down to St. Louis for the darts tournament, it just completely sucked. <laughs> it didn't work anymore. And that's happened to me multiple times in the past too, where, you know, something will work well at home, but the second I get in a competitive environment, it just doesn't work. So my first day at the tournament was two blind draws. And like I said, that grip wasn't working for me. So it was a little bit of a struggle, and but I was working... The advice I gave you guys, I was working through these tips uh, during the blind draw. And then, well, that helped me a lot going into Saturday because Saturday is when I refound my grip. So I was able to play with it Friday in a competitive environment with the blind draws. And then Saturday is when I was able to put it to work and throw some decent darts. Now, I in 501, I got bumped early and it just came down to my doubles. My scoring was good all weekend, but the doubles uh, really hurt me in that singles uh, 501 event. But what was cool is that they did a little 301 event if you were knocked out of the 501 event. So I got bumped from 501, and they're like, all right, last calls for singles 301. And I'm like, singles 301? That wasn't on the flyer. I go up to the front desk, and they're like, yeah, if you got bumped from the 501, you can sign up. I was like, sweet. So I signed up and my doubles were a struggle in 501, but in 301, I ended up winning and you have to hit double the amount of doubles in 301 because you have to double in and double out. So I'm so happy that they did that because that confidence I built by hitting those doubles in 301 brought me into a very solid Sunday because Sunday morning, uh, Mrs. Bullshot and myself played the mixed doubles and that was the first event in the morning. We made it all the way to the finals, and my doubles were feeling really good coming off of that 3-0 the night before. And in the finals, it was a best of five. We were up 2-0, and I missed, I think, one or two match-winning doubles, and the other team was able to come back and win. So I feel so bad because, you know, I kind of blew it there at the end, but props to the other team for having that comeback. Um, so we ended up getting second place in that, now from here, since we made the finals in mixed doubles, it made singles cricket behind. So it was really nice because right when I finished the mixed doubles, since cricket was behind, they were just waiting on me. So the second that mixed doubles ended, I went match, 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 match all the way to the finals. So I had no breaks up until the finals cricket round. So that's always nice because I was playing some people that were waiting for two hours. And when you're waiting for that long... You know, it, at tournaments with these kinds of ways, they always talk about what are these players doing in their downtime? Are they sitting down? Are they throwing? Are they drinking a lot and getting a little bit, you know, too drunk to play? Uh, whatever the case may be, the player who has the momentum has the advantage. So I was able to go into every cricket match with that momentum, and it carried me through 
and got me to the finals and got the win. So that was the two wins I got was the 301 singles and the cricket singles. And then my girlfriend and I in the mixed doubles and doubles events uh, didn't throw that well. I got to shoot with uh, E-dubs though and shooting with E-dubs was awesome. If you guys don't know who E-dubs is, he also does, uh, you know, he promotes the sport online kind of like myself. So, oh, excuse me. I thought it'd be so cool to throw with him. So I reached out to him and I was like, hey, like want to throw? He's like, yeah, let's do it. So it was really cool to get to throw with him. Uh, you know, what he does for the sport of darts is great with the promotion. And he also does a lot of stuff for youth darts. So if you guys don't follow Edubs, make sure you go watch him. Uh, promote darts, at promote darts on Instagram. Uh, I don't, I'm not too sure if he has a, I'm pretty sure he has a Facebook and a YouTube too. But I do most of my following of him on Instagram. So if you guys don't know who he is, make sure you guys go check him out. So that's it, guys. Uh, talking about you know, refinding your grip and my tournament recap there. And also big shout out to everyone that was involved in running the darts tournament. What they're doing for darts in St. Louis is incredible. I love it. I'm so happy. It's only a five hour drive. You know, I get to go to St. Louis three times a year. I'm going back in September for the Blueberry Hill Open. So really excited. Looking forward to that. Uh, I don't remember if I said big shout out, but big shout out to everyone help running that tournament. It was an awesome tournament. So let's get in one more throw here, guys. Darts are feeling good. We had a buck 80, almost a hat trick. I finally got my grip back. It feels good. And if you guys are struggling with your grip, you're going to have your grips back soon too if you follow these tips. Oh, geez, triple five. I was rushing myself. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Some videos probably should have popped up over here if you're watching on the YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook, head over to the YouTube and subscribe, guys. Uh, I guess that's it. BullshotDarts.com, new favorite dart shirt, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one, and shoot well.